Immersive Sim Confirmed. Hey everybody, I've got a quick little video for you as Charles, what are you doing uploading a video in the middle of the week? You upload on Saturdays. Well, I promised I'd make this to help out a friend. The TLDW here is that Parapedia is a cool M-Sim with a demo you can check out right now on either Steam or Itch, and you should totally swing by their Kickstarter before it ends at the end of this weekend. So what's Parapedia? Well, it's that one game I keep showing little clips of here and there in other videos that people keep asking me about. Parapedia is a first-person shooter slash stealth game that's designed to be as M-Sim as it can be. There's hacking mini games, lots of level exploration, and you can do things in just about any way you'd like. Parapedia takes place in the fictional land of Poland 2, where you play as a cybernetically enhanced anime girl for hire, Marie. Marie has a lot of choices she can make about a lot of things like combat and factions, but for now, let's talk about the gameplay just a little bit. So Parapedia's gameplay is primarily first person, with you occasionally zooming out to see both parties in a conversation. After that, you've got your usual methods of stealth, violence, subterfuge, or some combination of the three to get things done. Everything you have is stored in a grid-based inventory that's very specific to the shape of your items, and you will find yourself spending quite a bit of time scratching that Resident Evil 4 itch inside of your inventory. There's a lot of exploring, as levels in this demo are huge, and there's never one way to do any one thing. One thing that plays well into this open-ended demo is the ledge grabbing system. If it has a lip or sticks out at all from the rest of another surface, Marie can grab onto it and shimmy around to a spot where she can jump up to another ledge. When you combine this with a jump enhancement implant, it's quite impressive all the places you can reach and gets up to Dishonored's blink levels of jumping around the map. When you aren't unloading enemies' guns to reload your own magazines, you'll have all sorts of ways to get things done. Weapon dealer not giving you a good discount? Gaslight, gatekeep, and then girl boss your way into their back stock through a hole in the wall, and then when they ask you to stop, give them some of that 9 by 19 mm grind set to show that you earned this. Are there too many dudes hanging around in the area leading up to your target's hideout? Hippity hop your way across the rooftops and maybe find some cool guns along the way. Also, Marie says hop whenever she jumps. So the levels you're going to be doing all the stuff in are enormous, and this is just a demo. Like, I think the second level of this demo mission is around the size of the Noctis Labyrinth level in I Divine Cybermancy. Like, it's big. While the main mission area is pretty straightforward, there is a lot to see and do if you're willing to explore. And you'll be rewarded for it too. There's all sorts of cool guns hidden away in some far fun places, and you also might find a shortcut or even a handy escape route if you keep your eyes open. Conversely, levels are still laid out in a way to where you aren't just running around forever, like in the previous mentioned I Divine Cybermancy, and Marie moves fairly quickly even without any enhancements to where you aren't stuck spending all your time in transit from one objective to the next. The other thing about this demo that's huge are the number of guns. In this not so little tutorial area, you'll have a fair smattering of guns to choose from when you get the job done, and when you get back to your apartment before the second mission, you can go down to the basement shooting range you made, and holy moly, that's a lot of guns! Unfortunately, it's not practical to carry all of them, and and this is mostly to show off what will be in the game. You can find a whole lot of guns to play around with inside of the next level though, including what I think is supposed to be an anti-tank rifle, but I'm not sure about that. But I am fairly certain that this thing would probably kill just about anything you fire it at if I could just find some damn ammo for it. Lastly, for the gameplay stuff, we've got the things that are par for the course when it comes to M-Sims, such as hacking minigames. What do you do for hacking in Parapedia? Node puzzles? Weird little maze games? Skill checks? Nope, you just master keyboard until you get the right answer. It's stupid and I love it. There is also your abilities, which are about par for the course for your M-Sims. Night vision, brief invisibility, being strunk, bullet time, and extra jumpy legs. We already talked about one of those earlier, and for brevity's sake, I'll leave it at all of these work about how you'd expect them to, and they're all very handy in their own way. Finally, just like any other game with big old levels and open-ended objectives, you can talk to people to get an idea of what you need to do and get a little taste of the world building while you're at it. But don't expect too much right here and now because this is still only the demo we're talking about. And like the title of this video says, this game oozes atmosphere. From the outset, it certainly has that nostalgia-corrected PS1 type of aesthetic, but not only does it help out with the size of the levels and making sure everyone can run something like that, because God forbid this was in like Unreal 4 or 5, but it's great for giving you a feel for how the world of Parapedia is emotionally. Levels are huge in a way, but they're intentionally empty. From a gameplay perspective, there's all sorts of stuff to explore, but if I was a person living in Poland too, it would be pretty bleak as there isn't all that much for me to see 
and do as evidenced by the NPCs milling about doing nothing. It's all just a bunch of hollowed out industrial spaces with a handful of places of interest peppered in where the government remember that they had to make these planned cities livable. The few things you see that look like they were meant for regular human interaction are all worn out looking if they're functional at all. Most folks you see are just milling about or straight up squatting in abandoned buildings that still have the scaffolding around them from when they were being built. As you make your way through the first level, you are find yourself in all that free housing all the kids on Twitter keep going on about, despite none of them ever traveling east of Rome on their high school graduation trip through Europe. Later on in the second mission, you'll find yourself in a torn up plaza where the head of a defaced statue of Lenin sits among discarded trash bags. You can pick that up and sell it if you wanna, but you'll only get about as much as hawking a few empty bottles from the vendors. The few areas that look like they're still in use are nowhere near what I call comfortable or even remotely pleasant looking. Then we add in the music, which is really good by the way. It really seals the deal that you're playing a near cyberpunk dystopia, which the only reason I personally wouldn't call it full on cyberpunk is that no one has access to the kinds of technology that Marie has, and most baddies are lucky if they're given a functional AK knockoff. Whatever Marie was doing before things got to like how they are, she's not doing it for the same reasons anymore, and is essentially in the same boat as Empty Foxtrot from Cruelty Squad, and that she's essentially blowing away anybody who people who are willing to pay her rent tell her to kill. But hey, at least she's got some skills to pay the bills. There's a lot of shanties out here in Poland too. I'll be really brief here with the story synopsis as there's only so much we can glean from the demo. Marie was once an enhanced soldier for the government, but that government has fallen, and in its place is a government called the Second Union, or Poland II as I call it. However, there are other entities vying for power in the former Soviet satellites such as the Polish Solidarity Republic, the Communists who, uh, after they get taken down by local cops, have no money on them, and all sorts of underbelly organizations that keep on sending Marie money to kill random political figures. The one thing that links all these factions together is they all want Marie to do them a favor or 12 to help with their goals. And meanwhile, there's rumors of a secret bunker under the city filled with all sorts of tech and stuff that Marie is actively trying to find as that might just be her ticket to the easy life here in the city. That is, if this bunker even exists. The rest will probably come around once we actually get our hands on the game. And finally, this brings us to the main reason why I made this video when I did. The Kickstarter. Shodan on et al have tried all sorts of ways to get further funding to see Parapedia through to their vision, and now they're going for the big one and launching a Kickstarter so that they can focus on making the game full time. It's currently slated to come out sometime around late 2022, which tracks as Shodan on has been working on this since at least 2019. I'm aware of all this as Shod dropped me a line right after I made that big immersive sim video back in late 2019, and has been active in the same circles I've been in for quite a while now. I'll also admit that when I was coming up, Shod, Snake Tiss, and eventually like people like uh, Shackleton and Baller's Gate were the first game devs that actually gave me the time of day when I was first like getting big. And I respect that and appreciate that. I even got to play the first public build of Parapedia that went live on itch a few days before it dropped. So the Kickstarter went live in mid August and it's hit the main goal pretty fast. And as I write this, they've hit all but one of their goals. And uh, scratch that actually, when I went to take this screenshot, I saw that getting the boxed edition of the game was just enough money. So as of Tuesday evening, Parapedia has hit all of its stretch goals. However, we have to remember that the money will only last them for so long and I can't tell exactly how they budgeted this, but many projects will lowball what they're asking for because they're worried they won't get the money. Additionally, Kickstarter will take a cut of that, further diminishing their funds. And I for one would really like to see them go all out on Parapedia because the concept and what we have so far look great. So in lieu, of my usual shilling for my usual things, I would like to ask you all to instead, please take the time to look over the Kickstarter, check out the tiers, and see if anything is within your budget. If you can't do anything, at least do yourself a favor and download the demo from Steam or Itch, and just goof around a bit with that weapon management and their ledge grabbing system, because it's a whole lot of fun, and I'm fairly certain you won't regret it. Now, I know this has been a fairly short video, but remember, all the stuff I've talked about, we're just going on the demo. I followed Parapedia for a while now, and they've got plans. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. In the meantime, be safe, wear your sunscreen, wash your hands, wear your mask indoors in accordance to CDC guidelines, and enjoy this cat video. Oh, saucy boy. I see you're in my camping chair again. Are you just trying to play the PlayStation a bit? Oh, I know you love them video games.
I even got a video game just for you. To help you learn your numbers, Floofle. Come on. Alright, we're going to take a break, PS1 Hagrid, but we'll be back. Stupid thing. Dude, look at this primo nostalgia artwork. Frisk, you, you just, you're already into it. Okay, let's just fire her up here. And I know you're gonna need your controller. And then... Oh. Is it going? Oh, there it is. Get ready to learn your numbers, Frisk. You're what? You're almost six now. And you don't know your numbers and your readings. We gotta get you caught up. Also, man, these PlayStation games took a while to load. 